Uh, well, let's let's keep with with the simple part. Uh, Fifty-one or forty-nine percent on the Taliban there. I think the peace, the peace process is based on the, uh, allowing and uh, discussing with those Taliban who wants to stop fighting and en enter the Afghan society. This pre peace process will be discussed in the framework of Afghan constitution. Uh, so the red line for us is the Afghan constitution. If tomorrow Mullah Omar is a candidate for the presidential election in Afghanistan, and he went over 51 percent, he's going to be the president. So a Taliban who enter in peace process will be part of the Afghan society within the framework of Afghan constitution. Is entering peace process another word for giving up arms, as was the case in Northern Ireland, those exactly. kinds of preconditions? Exactly. Maybe they have some certain condition to be discussed, but in order to know what is their condition, we need to start discussing with them. So uh, there is no question of sharing power, if the Taliban and other armed group want to enter in a political process in Afghanistan, they will have the full right to enter it according to our constitution. But they have to do it by October 7th? Sorry? Do they have to do it by October 7th, which is the deadline? For this election, yes. Mm. There's news. Uh, in I, I, women's I, I, gains insured post-withdrawal? First of all, I, I, I mentioned to you, Madam, that uh, What's happening in Afghanistan and, and women rights and human rights and, and, and the democratic process and the freedom is not enforced by United States. United States, by liberating Afghanistan, has created an environment through which the Afghan people started to express their will. You know? so, I think the concern of women in Afghanistan post-2014 is not because the U.S. forces living in Afghanistan, they are worried about Taliban to coming back. Right. Okay. So, yeah. What's going to prevent that? Else. Sorry? What would prevent the Taliban coming back? The Afghan people. Uh, the Afghan security forces? Afghan people the first Afghan people? and Afghan security. Now we have a uh, over... T Hold on, wait, let him answer and then, then we'll do a question. Yeah. Go ahead. Today, uh, we have over 350,000 or 360,000 armed forces, extremely well trained. You know the Afghans are going to go to for, for fighting, so you don't need to train them too much how to fight. <laughs> you need to give them the a disciplinary army, give them the necessary equipment to do it. So we have now, and as, as I mentioned to you during my, my, my speech, that over 90% of Afghanistan territory today is protected by Afghan National Army and police. Uh, the NATO forces has only a supporting role. They are not have any fighting role. Although they give you air cover, and that's going to go away in 2014. Is that a problem? I think we are going to have, uh, in the coming, uh, before the end of 2014, enough Air Force to replace it, with the help of the United States, of course. That's also news.